What is up, Jamily? This is Jamiroquai2000 here with yet another episode of the Jamiroquai Minute, all the latest Jamiroquai news. And this will be a news roundup for the week of January 7th, 2018. And man, what an action-packed week we've had so far news-wise with Jamiroquai Automaton ever since the new year. So I thought I'd go ahead and do a news roundup, all the latest news from this past week. This is a lot to unpack, so let's get right into it. Starting off on January 2nd, we got an announcement that for the first time in Jamiroquai's history, and the first tour dates of the U.S. leg of the Automaton Tour got announced that Jamiroquai would be somewhat co-headlining the Coachella Music Festival out in Indio, California on the weekends of April 13th and 20th. Uh, and of course, the media, of course, the mainstream media response was pretty mixed when this news came out, but the jam here us and you hear us Jamiroquai fans here in the United States have been waiting 13 long years for Jamiroquai to come back to the United States to tour a new album, and this is great, great news. Uh, as I said, as I just prefaced, the um, media, the mainstream media in response to this was mostly a bit more of the negative than the positive. There was a lot of positive press. There was a great article out from Vogue magazine talking about Jamiroquai coming back to Coachella or coming to Coachella and there being a lot of excitement around it, but there was a bit of a small minority of people, mostly on social media, who are and, and music journalists asking, Jamiroquai, why are they at the top of Coachella? Why are they there? Well, you know what? If those people had paid attention to most majority of 2017 and listened to Automaton and got back into Jamiroquai, they would understand why Jamiroquai really does deserve to be up at a high rating on the Coachella Music Festival lineup. But as I said, Jamiroquai was announced to be somewhat almost co-headlining Coachella Music Festival. They will be performing in Indio, California on April 13th and 20th. The tickets for the Coachella Music Festival went on sale as of January 5th, and today, January 7th, I am sorry to report, but the Coachella Music Festival tickets sold out. They sold out in less than 48 hours after going on sale this past Friday. So, congratulations to all my fellow American Jamly fans who were able to get tickets for weekends 1 and 2, because this, this music festival was not going to be cheap. Uh, uh, weekend passes for the Coachella Music Festivals were starting at $500, and God knows how inflated the ticket the tickets are going to be going on are now going on sale on the secondary ticket market because you can go and look online for secondary uh, on the secondary ticket uh, um, websites to get tickets for the Coachella Music Festival, and you can go to you can go to eBay and several other ticket uh, retailers online. But I suggest you don't do that because those prices do not demand those prices do not demand that kind of money, especially for the band Jamiroquai. Yeah, Jamiroquai hasn't been in the United States over 13 years, but when the price, when ticket, when tickets on the secondary market go up around eight, a thousand. $1,200, then that's when it just gets really ridiculous. But, uh, you know, but they did, um, but uh, yeah, Jamiroquai HQ and the official website did announce that the Coachella tickets had sold out, but Jamiroquai is yet to announce more United States um, tour dates, and uh, as I reported on a few Jamiroquai minutes earlier this week, uh, one of the Jamiroquai backup singers, Valerie Antonine, otherwise known as one of the Jamirettes, along with uh, El Cato, did uh, talk to some fans on her Instagram and did let out two cool pearls of information additionally concerning the U.S. leg of the Automaton Tour. She did say that Jamiroquai does plan on going up to San Francisco while in the state of California on April 17th, so keep your eyes, all San Francisco Jamily members, keep your eyes on your local venues there. In, uh, in San Francisco for potential announcements of P Jamiroquai potentially playing a date in San Francisco while they are in the state of California during the month of April. Um, and also the other the other tidbit that uh, uh, Valerie was nice to pass on to f inquiries from my fellow Jamiroquai fans on Instagram was that they are going to be trying to come to the East Coast on this U.S. leg of the tour between, um, I would say, probably May and April is probably the period that Jamiroquai will be here in the United States doing a... But uh, bear in mind, uh, they wanted uh, she said she hinted that Jamiroquai is trying to find some dates for the East Coast and they potentially might be stopping by the Tonight Show with Jimmy Fallon while they're in New York City so keep your eyes on NBC Network and the Tonight Show with Jimmy Fallon for further announcements of Jamiroquai potentially being a musical guest on the Tonight Show with Jimmy Fallon while they're in New York City and also keep your eyes for potential tour dates to be announced for New York City um, I, I have a strong feeling that Jamiroquai for this is a tour leg uh, they did I forgot to note that the official site did say on the front page of the official site that uh, they're going to be a handful of United States tour dates for this uh, tour leg for Jamiroquai. So it's not going to it's not going to be a lot of tour dates. I'm going to say between five to six, probably total tour dates, co counting Coachella. 
that is potentially going to be announced either in the coming days. But uh, I have a strong, strong chance. I've talked to several of a few of my other fellow Jamaica White fans, especially on Facebook. Uh, the rest of these tour dates of the U.S. tour could come out as early or be announced as early as early of next week. Given that Jameer Kwai is going to be going back on tour, making up some rescheduled dates on January 9th and 11th, in, starting in the Olympiahalle in Munich, Germany. And of course, the following Thursday, they're going to be making up a gig at Zurich, Switzerland. So uh, I expect those tour dates, those U, the rest of the U.S. tour dates, will be coming out as early as early next week. So keep your eyes on the Jameer Kwai subreddit, keep your eyes on the official Jameer Kwai website, and also keep your eyes on social media, specifically the Jameer Kwai HQ Twitter account and YouTube for further other announcements um and we also got a bit of a little bit of an internet not a much of a drama but a very weird happen thing happened this week um i as i talked about in a previous jamaica white minute episode this week i'll give you the cliff notes version um i was doing some searches on google for the cloud nine music video just on january 1st and 2nd and i came across a very weird picture of jk standing in a room in a black suit with a white shirt and a black tie. And I was like, what is this? After further clicking, I found out that there there was a new music video that had been produced, uh, directed by Jason Smith Films. And Jason Smith has a history with Jameric Y, having previously uh, directed two previous Jameric Y music videos for Corner of the Earth and Love Philosophy. And it turned out that this music video was not released. It was on his official website, and it was noted as Cloud Nine. Now... This was very weird because we all know that the second music video was directed by Charlie Lightning. It was done in Almeria, Spain, which has a history of previous Jamiroquai music video recordings. And it was um, it was J.K. and uh, Monica Cruz, Penelope Cruz's uh, younger sister actress. And uh, so after apparently uh, somebody at Jason Smith Films accidentally put this music video up. And when you watch the music video, at least this Cloud Nine edit, it did look look nothing. It did not match the song in any nuance. Well, after it turned out that this music video was a early edit of the Nights Out in the Jungle music video. Because um, what happened is I ended up reporting this on, on all the Jamiroquai uh, social sites and groups about finding this music video. And then... One of the, my fellow fans decided to do an edit, putting Nights Out in the Jungle in the place of the Cloud9 audio track on the music video, and it matched. The, uh, mu- the, the lyrics of Nights Out in the Jungle upon, and we got in a great discussion about this on Facebook and on the Jamiroquai subreddit about what, what song could this be for. And it turned, I pretty much was with the consensus of my fellow fans saying this was supposedly for Nights Out in the Jungle. And sure enough, uh, what happened is, um, the, they ended up taking both videos, ended up getting down. One was uploaded on YouTube. The other one was on Jason Smith's website. But it, let's see, it appears that we I, I caught this music video way before it was intended of going online. But uh, Jumeric HQ ended up putting this music video out for Nights Out in the Jungle. Uh, it came out um, a very interesting music video, a very rarely cinematic music video from Jumeric Mostly uh, uh, JK. If you listen to the song Nights Out in the Jungle, it's basically JK at a late night bar trying to pick up trying to meet some girls he gets some drinks in them and there's two different sp- separate edits of this music video but they went with the one that the, the original edit of this music video with cloud nine was more of a time loop it was like jk atten- uh, eternally going to the same late night drink drinks bar over and over but the the, the final uh, official version that was released um on uh was uh, on january 5th uh we told a different story it just ended with jk in the back of the rolls voice just you know, peering out of the window, but it was a very good music video. I thought it was very, very good, Uh, very different. And I like when Jameer Kwai goes from, you know, doing this, you know, what we expect from them in Jameer Kwai music videos to doing something different. And this was a very good, different music video. And I did do a review of this music video um, after it officially came out. So be sure to check the Jameer Fan 2000 YouTube channel. Uh, I believe it was episode 290 for my review of the Nights Out in the Jungle music video. But uh, yeah, that finally got out. And then about a day after that music video was released, uh, JK did a vlog and he's been doing these vlogs periodically through 2017 into 2018 but he basically did a vlog from the back of what looked like the uh, fellow Jamiroquai fan uh, let me know that it was the USS Bristol or our USS Britain it was a old 
ship. But uh, JK was on the boat, and he did a vlog, and he basically thanked all the fans. Um, also, over the new year, uh, December 30th, was JK's 48th birthday. So everybody in the family sent JK lots of birthday greetings. But as uh, JK, as I said, JK in the vlog uh, thanked all the fans for all the birthday greetings. Um, he also talked about the Nights Out in the Jungle music video and it about how it originally was supposed to be the Cloud9 music video, but didn't really match what they were going for creatively. So it turned into the Nights Out in the Jungle music video. And let me know that this is this could potentially turn out to be one of the most video music video active albums of any Jamiroquai album in the discography. Um, the most video, the last most music video active album was Traveling Without Moving back in 1996, where at least six nearly six music videos were released uh this video from automaton for nights out of the jungle is their fifth music video uh technically their ninth music video if you count all the alternate versions of cloud nine super fresh and uh other music videos that have come out this era if jamerica white keeps going on track they could make this the most music video active album in the discography but um he also, yeah, like I said, he did. The, he talked about the music video. But the most interesting thing in this vlog from JK was apparently we are getting yet another New Year's gift. We got the New Year's gift of the Nights and Out in the Jungle music video. But now it appears JK has said we are going to be getting free downloads. And these free downloads are of leftover material from the night, from the last Jamiroquai album, which would be 2011's Rock the Slight Star. And he plans of get, they plan on giving these uh, downloads of these leftover tracks away for free. Uh, no more details have come out, at least from Jamiroquai HQ and how they're going to facilitate this. But um, the last time Jamiroquai gave away free material of old material was back in 2011 when they gave away the song Smile. Uh, right at the end of what they uh, they did, they did a contest, an art contest for fans to uh, to create uh, single covers for the, for this free song, and uh, they ended up picking a single cover and they ended up giving the song away for free over on their SoundCloud. So. What material could Jamiroquai be giving away? There's at least three known leftover tracks from the Rock Test Life Star era that is known by fans. There are songs called, uh, there's a song Super Highway. There's a song called Your Your Television, uh, Your Window, is, or Your Television is a Crazy Window. And then there's another song called Getting Down. And then we all know Getting Down ended up going into another song being used. But it's still up in the air what Jamiroquai could be giving away. Uh, check out... Uh, my last episode of the Jamiroquai Minute for m me talking in greater detail about what Rock Test Life Star Treks they could be giving away in this promotion. Um, as for uh, the rest of the news, uh, you know, it's that's pretty much everything for right now. Links to everything that I discussed in this Jamiroquai Minute news roundup is, as always, in the description of this video down below, including links to everything that I mentioned, and uh, a link to the Nights Out in the Jungle music video, a link to um, JK's vlog he put out yesterday, um, and uh, a video to my Jamiroquai fan talks about it where I really basically fleshed out the whole discussion about what this weird music video that I discovered was uh, for Cloud9 or Nights Out in the Jungle. And uh, that's basically it for right now. Um, I expect, as I as I said earlier in this episode, I expect that more U.S. tour dates for this uh, U.S. leg um, for 2018 will be announced probably next week, giving that Jamiroquai is back on tour. And if anything we know about Jamiroquai, they always like to do t things co coinciding with each other. So we could see uh, more U.S. dates being announced. And, of course, keep your eyes on the Jamiroquai subreddit. Keep your eyes on the Jamiroquai HQ Twitter account, Instagram, Facebook are all the latest announcements concerning those tour dates. I'll be sure to pass them on here on the Jamira Fan 2000 um, YouTube channel and on future episodes of the Jamira Kwai Minute. And I will be covering both the next week's gigs, the makeup rescheduled gigs in Munich and Zurich. So keep your eyes on the Jamira Kwai subreddit for the usual summary post of all videos, pictures, and everything um, from those gigs um, from Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and everywhere. So I'm going to be busy next week. All the fans going to those gigs are going to be busy next week. And Jamira Kwai certainly is going to be very, very busy next week. Next week. And as as always, this is Jamiroquai2000, and I'll see you again really soon with another Jamiroquai Minute and more Jamiroquai-related videos here on the Jamiroquai2000 YouTube channel. Bye, everybody, and have a great week. Have a great Sunday.